Hello everybody! Did you know that even Australia once had pyramids very much like the pyramids that we find in the Atlantic? Okay, so we're going to look at this article and this article of deception and we're going to see how it's right, how it's wrong. The Gympie Pyramid is a low terraced hill located in the outskirts of Gympie, Australia, probably created by human, sorry, by European immigrants in the late 19th or early 20th century. Wrong. The feature is subject to speculation, especially suggestions that it was constructed by an unknown civilization, such as um, Egyptians, South Americans, or Chinese. We're going to get to who constructed it very soon. I've got all the evidence, all the photos. Rex Gilroy claims that he discovered the Gympie Pyramid in 1975 and claimed that the pyramid was created by Egyptians who had mining operations in Australia centuries ago. Now, I think he was basing his ideas on some of Tor Heyerdahl's ideas that the Egyptians spread their pyramids to South America, but now we know better. Now we know they all have a universal unknown source from somewhere in Asia. Mining operation as far as the Blue Mountains. It seems a terraced hill was claimed to be a pyramid on the basis of a nearby stone wall found around a church. We're going to look at that. Being of unusual construction, supposed local legends and taboos that warned against intrusion into the pyramid area. A predominance in the area of a cactus of South or Central American origin. A statue, the Iron Man or Gimpy Ape. We're going to look at that. Of non-Aboriginal manufacture found nearby. And some crude... Inscriptions on a rock stone block dug up in the area. Wheeler notes that an amateur archaeologist became convinced that the pyramid and other features were evidence of an ancient settlement in Australia by the Incas of South America. Look, I think that is that is likely, but we can actually get more specific. It was the Guanche people of Tenerife, of the Atlantic, of Ireland, the Viracochas. This was a Viracocha civilization in Australia. These were the long ears of Easter Island, the same people, and they were here in Australia. I'm going to prove that in this video. Very shortly, let's just finish this up. While Pi argues the pyramid is of Incan origin, Gavin Menzies said, it says it is direct and persuasive evidence of the Chinese visits to Australia, etc., etc. He's into the Chinese. Some other guy says, the facts are probably that the Gimpy Golden Pyramid is actually an ordinary hill terraced by early Italian immigrants for viviculture that has been disfigured by erosion and removal of stone from the retaining walls for use elsewhere. So this is the excuse. Whenever it starts to look like a pyramid, they say that the, the people made it into a pyramid. But, you know, they're doing that with the Bosnian pyramid, which I think is partly artificial. Have to make a video on that. And this silly thing here, debunking revisionist history, research suggests a more banal answer that it was part of a retaining wall built by an Italian farmer to stop erosion on a natural mesa on his property. So, some guy built a pyramid to stop erosion on his property. You see what I mean? You see how they, they spin these things? Yeah. Anyway. We're going to look at some photos. There seem to me, based on what I've been doing and, and researching, there seem to be two pyramids. This is the Pyramid Hill, the Gimpy Pyramid Hill. And this is clearly Australia. You see all the gum trees. It's a rough pyramid shape. I'm not sure. People have climbed this hill and say they can't see anything. Other people say it looks a bit like a pyramid. And there are a couple terraced stone walls around it, but the stone walls are gone. So this could be a hill, a natural hill that was turned into a pyramid or turned into a, a sort of platform with stone walls. But that's, here's the thing. There, are, there seem to be two gimpy pyramids. This is the second one. And this is absolutely... Unbelievable. Here we have gum trees next to a pyramid, which is clearly an Atlantic-style pyramid. And since this is the only photo, I presume it was go it's been gone for over a hundred years, and that's why no one really knows about it. It was in the sticks, probably a bit further than Gimpy. These are Australian gum trees. That is an Atlantic-style pyramid. It's clear as day as to what it is. It is an Atlantic style pyramid. It's absolutely unbelievable. Look, this is another Atlantic style pyramid. That's from the Azores. These are the pyramids of Tenerife. 
This is a step pyramid I showed you in Ireland. They say it's a folly. I think it's rebuilt. I made a video about that. And again, Tenerife. They say that they're saying the same thing in Tenerife. They're saying farmers built that. So farmers built this in Australia, and farmers built this in Tenerife. Nah. This is an ancient culture. And I'm going to prove that right now. Not only is it the same as an Atlantic-style pyramid, the thing that used to be there. But there's more. What do you think this is? This is, apparently, from the Gimpy Pyramid. And this is what we find in Corsica. I made a vid video on um, Statue Menhurs a few days ago, talking about the sword in the stone, and I showed something like this, this figure with a sort of sword, it's carrying a sword. That's a sword in the stone, it's, it's a stone that supposedly speaks to you in a ceremony, it makes you the king, and it's, it's holding a sword. And this was preserved in Corsica, and apparently in Australia. And this was found in Gympie as well. It's another old photograph of a sort of crocodile. And if we look at this, well, what do we think of with crocodiles? There are crocodiles in Australia. They could have based their version of the cosmic serpent, a worldwide myth, off what they found in Australia. But of course, the crocodile is also an Egyptian god, as well as a South American god. Is this the feathered serpent? And this was found at Gimpy as well. We just have these old photographs because everything was quarried. The whole damn thing was quarried, taken away. It was destroyed. History was destroyed. The history of the world travelers in Australia has been almost completely obliterated because of an ancient concept that was incepted by people like the early explorers in Australia called Terra Nullis. The land's empty. No one's here. And if there's no one here, then the archaeologists aren't going to be able to discover anything, are they? But this was here. That was presumably the pyramid. So there were obelisks near this pyramid. And this is a culture similar to the Egyptians, but it's more like a worldwide pyramid version. They simply set up in Egypt. And yes, you see these statue men hers. Unbelievable. This is a better photo than this other one I showed you. Just in independent confirmation that there's a little bit more going on and in fact this here is different to that this there's, there's more features apparent on that one so it is a different photograph okay and these rubble walls and now we're going to look at the stone wall itself we still have a stone wall that was around the Gympie pyramid and it's around a nearby church at Gympie this however is not Gympie this is Melbourne and I took this photograph at, this is St. Patrick's, the best cathedral in Melbourne. And this is the Catholic headquarters in Melbourne. And there's some old colonial stonework here. And I'm going to show you some colonial stonework that is colonial, that is not polygonal. This is colonial stonework. It is very roughly fitting. They tried to make a sort of triangle-like structure. This is in Melbourne. I just photographed this myself. Yeah, a few things like this, but this is not polygonal stonework. This is just stones which have been fitted together by Europeans. Again, it's more of the same, and it's 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 only angular and polygonal if it is near a sort of corner. This is not ancient stonework, it is colonial stonework. This is an old church tower of Georgian style. It must be very old. I can find no information about this, but it's at the Catholic headquarters. It, the gate is closed. You can't get to it. This is as close as you can get. And it seems the, the, the church which was joined to it is gone, or this tower has been shifted. I don't know what's happened, but if you look at the stonework, it's the same builders, but this is, again, it's European stonework. And I'm showing you all this so we can move on and compare it to... The latest stonework. Oh, why don't I just show it to you now? This is the Gympie wall coming up right here. Here we go. And this is around a church in Gympie. 
and it was, according to local tradition, taken stone by stone and placed around the church. And you see polygonality around every rock. It is so irregular and crazy. And this was stripped off the pyramid and placed here. This is what perhaps Pacific polygonal stonework looks like. It, the polygonality is all over the place. It's not just in one or two places, like on the European stonework. Here it's not even at all on this wall. European. European. This is a convict wall I showed in another video, and this is unbelievable because it shows huge stones. This was built by basically slave labor, and the gaps are so far apart, you know, it's almost unbelievable because these are so hard to work with, so heavy. Even if you make straight lines, it's hard to fit stones. Again, more of this wall, and it's, it's European. And now back to the Gimpy Wall, and we see something clearly different to everything. The most polygonal of the European examples I can find is this one. And that's the Gimpy Wall. Clear differences. That's European, that ain't. And the local legend is that this was taken and placed right around the church at Gimpy. And each stone was marked individually. And then shipped here and placed as it was around the pyramid. This is all we have that's left. And a few archaeologists and historians have the nerve to say, oh, it was built by uh, Im Italian immigrants. Uh, you know, they don't have a clue. They don't want to look silly. But at the end of the day, they do look silly by not having enough evidence at their disposal before formulating conclusions. Guys, thank you very much. Now that Gimpy Pyramid is on private property, so if you want to explore, be aware of that. Join me tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after, for another exciting episode. There'll be new mysteries, new topics, new things to discuss, new things to explore. And please subscribe, thumbs up, and see ya!